Yo, 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 what the fuck up, guys? And today I'm playing some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Um, I'm trying out a game that, well, a game type, Sabotage, that is not so popular. Um, you don't see a lot of gameplay of it posting. I don't know, I thought I'd give it a go. Um, I don't think it's a very popular playlist, but today I'm going to talk about the proper way to play Sabotage. Sabotage doesn't really differ between any of the Call of Duties. Um, and when I say this, I mean that, like, it just doesn't change. Like, from COD 4 to World at War to Modern Warfare 2 to Black Ops, it just doesn't change. Um, I'm going to tell you how to properly play Sabotage from my exper experience, sorry. So, what I did early on was, I rushed the bomb, which you might get someone on the other team that does it if they're a competitive player. Um, the opponent's team, well, the opposite team here, um, they were alright, they weren't like the greatest players, like it wasn't like an MLG game battle I was going into. But, um, yeah. So I'm gonna, like I said guys, you guys, I think a good idea is to get, uh, position of the bomb very quick and when that is happening I think it's very important and very crucial to make sure that um, well to make sure that the enemy team doesn't rush the bomb into your spawn which I find is very important and sabotage the reasoning being is if they get the bomb into your spawn it, sabotage has a lot of running into it and it's going to take a little while to get the bomb out of the spawn well maybe not the spawn but your uh, your bomb point. So, yeah. So these tips I'm giving guys are, uh, they pretty much go in there, like, they're pretty much for every Call of Duty because, like I said, sabotage doesn't change as a game type. Like, there's lots of game types that don't, but there's also a couple that do. Capture the Flag has changed. Demo only started at World at War. Standard ones like Domination Free For All and um, Sabotage. Team Deathmatch, they haven't changed. So I thought I'd try a different game type, give it a go. Um, my class setup is Marathon Pro, Cold Blood Pro, Ninja Pro, Tar 21 Silencer. Reasoning for those perks right now. Marathon Pro is exactly why I'm using it right now. Look at this, I'm running around the map constant. You don't see me staying still in this game very much to little, if maybe even at all. Um, right here, I noticed that I'm not in the greatest positioning, I get taken out. I shouldn't have been moving, and I should have had better cover. But, that's what I'm um, saying. Cold blooded, for the reasoning being, is if they have a UAV up and I have the bomb, um, they're going to know exactly where I am. Like, exactly. Which is not a good thing at all. Cold blooded also, you know, just a standard one, in case they get a kill streak, which I believe they do later on in this game, and they'll see exactly why. I'll, I'll recognize it. And Ninja is just because of my headset that I use it. Alright. Next thing I'm going to talk about, guys. Kill streaks. UAV, counter UAV, and Predator Missile. I don't build kill streaks and sabotage very often. Um, I usually pull a 2KD Modern Warfare 2. My kill death ratio is 5. Um, when I got this account given to me, it already had... Sorry, it's, it's a 6KD. It was like a 5.81. And I went like three games in a row of flawless on free for all and I brought it up to uh, six kill death ratio so that's pretty goddamn impressive I must say so talk about the kill streaks real quick UAV can UAV Pred Pred is just a standard kill streak that is somewhat useful in sabotage I wouldn't say it's the most important one though UAV is to, uh, very helpful in this game type because um, even if they are running a lot of cold blooded, it's still somewhat useful because if the guy has the bomb on the enemy team, you'll be able to exactly see where he is. Like it won't like be like la not laggy, but it, like when someone's escorting it, you can see them on the radar. But it's not it's like choppy if you know what I mean. I don't really know how the right way to word this. Second thing is counter UAV is probably the best kill streak to run in this. Reason being is if you have the bomb, they're blind. If it just completely fucks them up, guys. Counter UAV is really good. And right here is a complete fuck up because the enemy team has a spy plane. And I have cold blood and this guy's just gonna fuck it up for me. And then I realize this Pred's here. I'm like, this guy's gonna fucking get me killed. Luckily he doesn't. But this is what I mean when I say they get air support in. Um, 
even because I'm undetected, and right here, this fucking idiot behind me is incapable of protecting the bomb that he plants, is that he runs off for no reason, and he gets killed. Really good. I appreciate uh, You gotta love players like that on your team. Alright. So, Sabotage is a fairly simple game type. Um, like I said, there's one bomb, and, uh, sorry, there's two bombs. <coughs> Palm, bomb sites that you must explode, and there's one bomb that you need to plant to explode it. So, what I decided to do here is you can see they get Harriers, and this is what I meant by having Cold Blades. It's very useful. Um, you don't really need stopping power with the tar, it's already a beast gun. Dr. Pepper's fucking D's. Um, look at this. This classic stopping power, not needed. Two bullets. <laughs> He's done. Alright, counter UAV, perfect time to call it in. Spy plane, perfect time. Now they don't know where I am, and I have mm, a UAV up. So, yeah. As you see in this time, every single time we plant the bomb is because of me. I might not be planting it every time, but I'm doing something to, um, how should I say, uh, protect the person that is planting it. I realized that, now look at this fucking idiot, couldn't even cover me. Look at you, you are useless, man. Enforcer, you're useless, I must say. You're using last chance as your third perk, too. Um, there was the only time in this game that I don't think I was really a huge part of the plant, although I was the one that got the bomb there. If this guy was covering me, it would have been me that got off the plant. Alright, so like I'm saying, every time we got the plant off, either I was defending them, or I was the one actually planting it. Having a shit team, which I did. Um, yeah, so here I see there's two triangles around me. I hope he has my back, although I still somehow get this guy walks in. I have no idea what my team was doing at this time in the gameplay, and unfortunately I think I get taken out here. As I take out one or two of them, and they fucking still take him out. Look at this guy. He's right by the bomb. He is useless as a teammate. But anyways, I had to work with what I had. So, right here, I like I said, sabotage is crucial to make sure the bomb stays on their side of the field because um, if you have a team like which I did, they would never be able to defuse the bomb because they're just useless tits. I'm pretty much like a one-man army without actually noob tubing. <laughs> so, um, sabotage, obviously not the most interesting gameplay, but I'm telling you guys how to properly play it because I am a pretty... Good player. Also, guys, the bomb doesn't take that long to plant. And this right here is, I'm, I want to say, pretty much 90% me right here once again. Look at the perimeter my team is holding, alright? we got two green triangles beside me, alright? He runs in. Stupid decision. What, would you like to know why? Because he's leaving the bomb site, and Sabotage has more than one spawn, alright? They could be spawning behind me, and every so often you can see I'm checking. Now right here, I'm holding perfect perimeter. I'm making sure my back with the UAV is covered. And I'm using the tank as protection to cover the bomb. And once again, it's 100, I'd say 90% me right there holding it off. Anyways guys, uh, this is my sabotage gameplay and we end it fairly early. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to thumbs up for uh, some boring sabotage. Thanks guys.